Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing my heatless waves tutorial today. This is what this was a requested video, and I thought it would be a good idea to do this just because it's something very easy and simple to do, and it doesn't require much time at all and not, no time in the morning. Um, so this obviously is not my um, hair in the heatless waves that I'm talking about because I was stupid and deleted the intro to this video on accident. So I'm having to refilm it again and I have curls in my hair right now so yeah it's not a very good representation of heatless waves. However, it's not that big of a deal that I deleted it because honestly all I did was talk you through the product that I used in my hair before I, um, I guess, did the heatless waves on myself and um, just told you what you needed to do, like the preparation, I guess. So the product, the only product I used to prepare my hair for the heatless waves is this Garnier Fructis Living leave-in conditioning cream and it looks like this and I just put this from my ears down just to make sure my hair retained its moisture especially since it's pretty cold outside and my hair is a little bit drier than normal and then all you want to have to do after that is braid your hair and I just sectioned mine into four sections you can do more or less and depending on how thick or thin of hair you have and that's basically all you have to do. Then you can hairspray your hair. And I did mention which hairspray I used later on in the video. But I hope you guys enjoy it. And by the way, sorry for the no eye makeup, but I do have an eye infection right now. So I think it's best to just leave my eyes alone and let them heal. But anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I will see you all later. Okay, so I just took the left side of my um, braids out and they look pretty good and I'm just going to give them one last squirt of hairspray and by the way I found my hairspray and it is the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Try so I'm just going to show you um, well I'm going to take out these braids on camera but first off I'm going to give them a last squirt of hairspray and I think they'll be good to go so I'm going to go ahead and take these out Okay, so I'm going to take out the front one first. There is no specific way you have to do this. Um, it just depends, I guess, on... Well, it doesn't really depend on anything. But yeah, don't pull them too hard. Just do it pretty gently. Like this. Okay, I pulled a little hard there. But whatever. Um, and if you're worried about them messing up in your sleep, honestly, at first... The first night it's going to be a little weird having braids in your hair, but eventually you get used to it and you can sleep whatever way you like. So I'm just taking out the last braid here. And I don't know if I mentioned it in the first scene of this video, I guess, um, but the hair ties that I'm using are these Goody hair ties. Just because I think if I used re regular hair elastics, um, you never know if they're going to break at night, which has actually happened to me. And then, you know, you wake up and you don't have a braid. So yeah, that is basically it. Um, I'm just going to spray it again. And it has enough volume for me. If you don't, ha if you don't, if you want more volume, um, of course I would suggest using like a volumizing mousse or something. And this one I have here is also from Garnier, and I'm not like being sponsored by them or anything, but this is the Garnier Fructis Style Double XL Volume um, Thickening Mousse, and it's an extreme hold. So that is the end of this hair tutorial, my first one. Um, I hope for it, the person that wanted to see this video, you're satisfied with it and you like it. Um, and it's really a, quite an easy thing to do. I think anybody could do it. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy this, and I will see you all next time. Bye!